guys welcome back to my channel my name is Agi thank you so much for clicking on this video I know it's been a while but I'm back again with this fantastic recipe for you guys I hope you're gonna try it out that's why I urge you to subscribe to my channel so that anytime you want to refer to this recipe it's gonna be very easy for you to find it and today we are making sesame bagel bread so guys this recipe is really really easy to make it's a bread so you know if you don't have an oven it's ideal for you you can make this and your kids are gonna love this and the smell is just beautiful it's heavenly and they're super yummy guys so don't forget to share this video with your friends and let's get on with the video so guys the first ingredient i'm going to add into my clean bowl is one and a half cup of warm milk make sure the milk is warm and not hot the next ingredient i'm going to add to the milk is two tablespoons of granulated sugar if you don't have granulated sugar you can always grind your sugar or you can just use the normal sugar i prefer the granulated sugar because it's easier to mix and then i'll add in two tablespoons of instant yeast if you don't have instant yeast you can use the dry yeast so I'll just go ahead and mix it up mix everything up until it's nicely combined so the next ingredient I'll add to my mixture is three cups of all-purpose flour now at this point you're just gonna add in three you're gonna need around uh, three and a quarter but at this point just add in three I'm also going to add in one teaspoon of salt so I'm just gonna go ahead and knead until everything is nicely combined So at this point you'll notice that the dough is a little bit runny so you'll have another one cup of flour and then you're just going to add in a little bit until it's nice soft and a little bit firm and also remember that you really have to be very patient when you're kneading the dough because you want to knead it until it's really nice and stretchy and it doesn't break so you'll keep on adding a little bit of flour as you need remember we added in three cups of flour previously and we just uh i just got another cup which i'm not gonna use all of it so i used about three quarters so you'll need a total of three and uh, three quarter cup of flour So guys when your dough is now held in together you can add in one tablespoon of cooking oil this will just prevent it from being a lot more sticky and it will make the dough a little bit more softer so you just continue kneading until you realize that all the oil is nicely combined into your dough so when your dough is done you will notice that it's really nice and soft and very uh, elastic like really stretchy you can stretch it for a bit without it being cut so our dough is ready the next thing we're going to do is just to cover it up nicely make sure that your bowl is nicely covered After covering you're going to let your dough rest for 30 minutes so after 30 minutes your dough is ready you'll notice that it's a little bit more soft and then you're going to transfer the dough on a dusted surface as I'm doing so you will dust up a surface with just a little bit of flour and then you transfer your dough there and then you're going to knead this for about a minute or two So after kneading for a minute or two, you're going to cut out your dough or just divide it into six pieces. So after cutting out your dough into six pieces, the next thing you're going to do is just to mold the pieces into round balls as I'm doing in the video. For the next step you're going to need like a half a cup of milk and probably one cup of sesame seeds 
and then you're going to take like one dough ball and just flatten it out with your hands as I'm doing in the video so just press it with your hands until it's a little bit flat and then you're going to take your brush or your spoon and dip it in the milk and then just rub it on your flattened dough as I'm doing also in the video so after rubbing it out with the milk you're going to just uh, put it on the sesame seeds as I'm doing just place it on top and press with your fingers just press it until it's nicely covered with the sesame seeds so after pressing you're going to dust up a surface and you're going to roll out your your dough you're going to roll it out into a small circle it shouldn't be too thick and it shouldn't be too thin it should be just medium so just roll it out nicely so if you notice that your rolling pin is sticking on your dough as you're rolling you can always just dust it with a little bit of flour this will prevent the rolling pin from sticking onto your dough as you're rolling So once you've rolled it out, the next thing you'll do is to take a knife and cut it into four parts. So you can clearly just watch the video and see how I'm cutting it out. You have to cut it into four parts as shown in the video. So you'll repeat the same process with the rest of your dough balls. Once you're done, place them on a dusted tray like this one. These are ready for frying. And then you're going to take a pan, heat it up, and just add in some cooking oil, some vegetable oil. And you're going to let this heat up. So the oil should be enough for deep frying and not for shallow frying. So when your cooking oil is uh, nicely heated, you're going to go ahead and add in your cutouts as I'm doing in the video. So you can notice that they are not too thick and they are not too thin. So just roll out uh, to about this size should be good enough. So you'll fry one side of the cutouts until it's nicely golden brown. And then you'll flip uh, the other side and also fry until it's nice and golden brown. So as you can see, this side is uh, already nice and brown. So we're going to go ahead and just flip, flip them up and fry the other side until it's also nice and brown. So as you guys can see, this side is also nice and brown. So it means they are ready for them to be removed from the cooking oil. So you're just gonna use a drip spoon and just place them on a plate which is lined with oil absorbing paper. So you will repeat the same process with the rest of the cutouts and just fry them until they're nice and golden brown. And the smell here is so heavenly. The smell, it's just yummy. Like your neighbors are gonna ask you for this recipe guys so you better hit the subscribe button now because i know christmas is almost here and you'll be looking for recipes and you'll remember that you once saw this recipe somewhere and you won't be able to remember where you saw it so that is why when you get this opportunity kindly hit the subscribe button guys hit the subscribe button so as you can see these ones are also ready we're gonna remove them from the oil and voila you're done so simple so easy it doesn't take like two hours and you have your beautiful treats for your kids to you know to bite on when they're hungry and guys you can see that this is really amazing even on the inside it's really nice and really cooked it's a really beautiful bread guys so guys 
I really urge you to subscribe guys and share this recipe with your friends because you never know who might need it. It's really simple, it's so yummy and your kids are gonna love it. Don't forget to leave me a comment in case you tried out this recipe. I would like to know if you tried out and it came out so nicely because you know it motivates me to make more videos for you guys. So guys, I hope that I'll be able to see you guys in my next video. Thank you.